Welcome to this B1 Printer Delivery e-learning session on report configuration, report selection. So here we are in business one. And let's first talk about what report selection is in the first place and why we need it. And you might not need it. You might just say everything, everyone gets emails. Uh, you can't decide uh, what, you, what you get. But a scenario could be that some of your business partners wish to have it by email and others wish to have it by a print uh, in an envelope. Um, again, it's fairly outdated. You should more email than, than print, but there might be uh, specific uh, scenarios for do that. It could also be that some customers should have the email uh, in one way and the others should have it with, uh, with some kind of specific brochure or something like that. Uh, based on some on their industry, for example. So there's different options to do this, uh, and we will go into it. But in our case, we will talk about some of our customers want uh, things by email, and others want it by print. And we can't really have that our that our users need to remember that. Uh, of course, we could. That's uh, the way it is if you don't have print delivery. So uh, Maxitech always wanted by email, so I need to remember to press the email button whenever I, I do something with them. And in AI invoices for Ada Technologies, I need to remember to press print. But what then if you mass deliver or do it uh, in an automated system, what would you do there? So you might, as, as, at least as a reminder, uh, add a user-defined fields on the business partner showing what delivery method do they prefer, email or print, for example. And this is just a user-defined field. So if we go up here and see, we have put in two options here, but there could be as many options as we want. Um, so that is one way of remembering, at least. We contact each partner. Hey, do we want it by email or do we want it by print? But that would still be that you need to go here, you need to check and then press the right button. So report selection is that you can actually set up rules for this uh, and then just have the system do it for you uh, and essentially just turn this button into a delivery button that just the right thing based on the customer's preference. So let's do that. Right now, if we look here, we have an invoice. And uh, that is the one and only invoice uh, we have in the system, but we want to have two different uh, report configurations so we can have the report selection. So let me quickly take this and call it, this is the email version of it. And the email version goes to a report action that is of type email, so that makes sense. There we go. So let's update that with the name and then let's quickly duplicate it. And we make a version that is print. And you can see there's a print button. Uh, and we will essentially say, whenever the email button is, is, uh, is pressed, run the print button. Because I don't can't really show you uh, live on screen here that uh, something is being printed, I will just use the print preview button instead, meaning I will show the report to you simulating what it is to print. So that, that is not to, to fool anyone, that's just for the demo sake of this. So now I have two configurations, meaning I can right click here and I can see two, one that is email and one that is print. And the email was the default one, but we want to on the fly have that the default switches depending on the user defined field. And for that, we go into the report configuration and press the report selection button here. And the report selection button can do it in various different ways. Out of the box, it's just business partner code. So we could go in and say, Every time it's C20,000, we want that AI invoice should use email. Every time it is C50,000, 
that is what SAP can do actually already and choose different systems. But it's a bit too cumbersome because if you get a new business model, you need to go in and set this. So while we can do it because SAP can do it, we want to be a bit more advanced in this. And that uh, is why we have that the selection types can be different. Let me just cancel what we did and go in and set some selection types. So we can go in and choose on business partner code. We can also do it on group, the language of the customer, up to 10 different uh, UDFs and the 64 properties. Almost everyone uses UDFs, but you can technically have that different uh, business partner groups and different uh, categories of customers in uh, high tech uh, systems and low tech and uh, VIP customers could have different layouts uh, based on that. But uh, the most common thing is uh, some kind of UDF. And here we find our UDF that was the delivery method. I could have that if this doesn't take anything, there would be an order trying to figure out if that is not, uh, then this, then this. So you could override by business partner code and then secondary have the UDF. Most people tend to end up with one here. So let's uh, set up the most common scenario here and put it like this. And now the selection type is only UDF. Again, if we added one more like business partner code and made that the first one, we could say that this is the primary one that chooses and this is the secondary one that chooses. But right now we don't set anything up, but we could, we could if we went. And in here, you can see we have the print and the email. If you don't see all your values, that's because you haven't chosen it for different customers. In my case, Maxitech is set up to do email and I'm pretty sure Ada Technologies is set up to do something different. No, but we can definitely set them up because they are the ones that want to have it print-wise and Maxitech is the one who want to have it. So we now have two customers with two different preferences. So we set them up. So the email, we want to have that in sales invoice. And you can see you can set it up for every single supported uh, type. But we take the sales and say, whenever that's it, we take the invoice. So update that. And whenever it's print, we don't want to use that one. We want to use the print one. So this is just our mapping of the UDF value of this means this. The UDF value of this means this. So now we have set it up. And we will immediately see if we right click and press here. Nothing has changed here because it's still the default, the email, because we set Maxitech to be uh, that. But over here, if we choose, you can see the default on the fly switches to AI invoices instead, because that's the default here. So if I just press and we saw that we changed the email button here, so if I press to send an email to Maxitech, it will actually say create email and we will find the AI invoice here. While if I do the same and press email, yes, I could begin to press the preview, but again, this is now our delivery button and not just the email button. So we want to press this and it will actually show the email simulating printing it instead. So, now our user just need to remember, yes, you need to press this button and then the right choice, depending on the customer's preference will happen. Either something goes out to the printer or uh, goes uh, into the set. And this is not only for the screens themselves. Uh, if we go to the master delivery and choose the AI invoices and run here, Let's imagine that every single one of these were for uh, for either Maxitech or for uh, Ada Technologies, the two different we have set up here. And let's say we chose 10 uh, documents and they were all for those. Half of them was for 
for MaxTech and half of them was for Ada Technologies, we would essentially end up with five emails in our inbox and uh, five prints out in the printer. Because it will on the fly know, yeah, that is what I need to do. Yeah, that is what I need to do and so on. So this is the very huge, powerful uh, system of, of this. So you can actually do different actions for different uh, people using the report selection. So again, inside report configuration is the way to get in there, set it up and choose. And again, every single object type we can do, can do this as well. So with that, thank you for attending. I hope it was beneficial.